Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing yet again another makeup video because that is the majority of this channel. So today we're gonna talk about my recent purchases since September. So September, October, and the first few days of November. And then we're going to also talk about some planned purchases I have for hopefully the rest of this year. If that interests you, well then stick around. Let's go. So I am wearing a lot of the purchases already on my face, so I will try my best to point it out when I can. Hopefully this lighting and editing shows up really nicely. Maybe I should stand like this. Maybe I should, no, that's too much white. I gotta work with this, okay? I'm still figuring out lighting. I apologize, please bear with me. All right. This is categorized, not by how I purchase them, but rather by type of item. So I will have um, timestamps if there is a specific category you would like to see what I ended up buying from. Where should we start? We're gonna start with skincare-ish items, okay? So first off, I got my free birthday gift from Ulta Beauty, and that is the uh, Tula Skin Care, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I don't actually use this one on my face, but my children do. So I get to uh, give this on to them, but I did want to show it to you because it was a gift item from Ulta. If you are not an Ulta, uh, I don't know what their rewards program is called. Is it just Ulta Rewards? I don't remember. If you are not an Ulta Rewards member, it's free and you get a free thing for your birthday every year. And it's always different. Sometimes it's makeup, sometimes it's skincare. And yeah, so got that. Uh, then the next thing for skincare, I decided to try this uh, Clean It Zero from, from Vanilla. I don't know why I want to say it with an ac with a slight accent. It reads like it would have an accent, but this is it. Uh, and I will show it to you out of the box. I've not used it yet. I will probably use it to try to take off today's makeup. It looks like a really cute little bottle. Um, it's kind of I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to be a less expensive dupe maybe for the pharmacy uh, green clean. We'll have to see. Um, I do think that the green clean has better ingredients, um, but this is definitely a lot less expensive, a lot less expensive. So I'll have to give my thoughts on that. Those are the only skincare items. So moving on, let's do face. Let's do face. I don't have any foundations in this. Um, I do have highlighters though. I picked up two highlighters. I picked up the iHeart Revolution e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Buddy and the shade Jovi. I'm really, really excited for these. I found these at my TJ Maxx, so they've been having this collection. I know, I don't think it's being sold anymore, like remade. It might be remade this Christmas. I'm not positive, uh, but picked up those. One is more silvery, one is more gold. And then I picked up um, this Sweet and Shimmer Blush Palette from Ulta. I don't think I've seen this before, and I want to say it's owned by Ulta, but it says it is distributed by Jasmine LaBelle. Um, I don't know. I tried looking it up online last night, and it looked like it was maybe an Ulta-specific brand. I don't know. Um, next, I finally picked up two items that have been on my wish list for a while. I know one of these was on my uh, birthday wish list video, which I will link uh, below and above. The other one, I don't remember if I put it on there, honestly. But so first is the Bare Minerals Blonzer in the shade Kiss of Copper. This thing, guys, I love it. 
beautiful beautiful i am wearing it on my face today as both my blush and bronzer so trying to play around with placement a little bit because it's a little bit bright to use fully as a bronzer for me possibly in certain light it is in certain light it's not so i'm still playing with how to how i want to best use this but i am loving this product absolutely beautiful and it looks so good on the skin and it, like it feels great then i have from jacqueline cosmetics this uh pressed pressed a blush heat pop in the shade bronze pop because this is the only one that was online on ulta um there is another color that i wanted a little bit more than this one but this one was also on my list to get so i went ahead and picked this one up it is shockingly really close to this color, um, except that this one has a shimmery look to it and this one does not. This one is really pretty. I've not used it on my face yet. I've just swatched it and it's, it's really soft and really nice. I'm very excited with that one. I do want to say that size wise, you would think that this has a lot more in it, but this one is 3.98 grams and this one is 3.8 grams. So packaging can be deceiving. So if you are buying based on how much you think is in there, actually look at how much is in there. And then what I believe is the last face thing I actually just picked up yesterday, I finally got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Light Medium. I haven't tried this yet, it's not out of the packaging yet. I am excited to give it a try. I'm a little concerned about this shade, but the next shade up looked too dark. I kind of feel like there should have been a shade in between this one and the next one, but we'll see. Maybe this will be amazing. Okay, next up we've got some lashes and lash products. So we had an event to go to in September. Um, it was the Air Force Ball, and I wanted to play with lashes and see if I could do lashes again. I ended up not doing it um, because after practicing several times, I didn't go with it. But I picked up this really cute lash uh, applier tool which I'm hoping to learn how to use more. And then I got this pack from Kiss. This is the Lash Couture Elastictions 45 Clusters. I didn't end up using these because I played the most with these. Now I did have two packs of these. So I played with a whole pack, completely destroyed a whole pack. Um, and then I dug into this one and then I stopped. But these were from, from Ardell. I don't remember the name of this particular pack but this pack did not come with one of these so it's a smaller pack okay then we have a item from essence this is the redness reducer primer this is a balancing and calming with green tea extract and i'm using it for the first time on my face today and i have to say i kind of like it so far i'm gonna have to give it a try a couple more times i um just kind of came across this in my store and decided, oh, that looks good because I use a lot of green tea products on my face already. Um, and I wanted to give it a try. It does come out green, so it does help a little bit with the redness. Um, the scent threw me a little bit though. It wasn't, it's not a bad scent and I didn't smell it until I was actually rubbing it on my face. Um, it reminded me a lot of my grandma. Um, when she was much, much older. And so I kind of got a little emotional, but also as far as a scent goes, it wasn't an endearing scent. If you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I, um, but it did go away pretty soon. So just keep that in mind if it's, um, if you are somebody who's very sensitive to scents, this wasn't a great scent. It didn't, I expected it to smell like green tea extract and it did not at all but so far i'm enjoying it also from essence i picked up this which i have not used yet it's the lash and brow gel mascara um yeah i've just not tried it yet but i want to give it a try on my brows one of these days um and then also in the essence stuff i have the long listing long lasting eye pencil this is in the shade deep sea baby number 26 and i picked this up as a replacement for 
an item that I actually returned. So I had bought the Juvia's Place eye pencil. I believe the shade of that was called like Midnight something. And I used it actually in a video uh, where my husband picked my makeup. I will link that as well. And it broke during application. And then it kind of just continued to get bad and it was very dry. Um, and it might just be because it sat on the shelves for a while. I'm not sure, but I didn't want to repurchase that, but I still wanted a color close to that. So that's why I picked up the Essence one. Um, and I've not tried it yet, but that's what that is. And that's why I bought that. Okay, then we have just a random thing real quick that I picked up. This is actually a gift for my child. Uh, it is another Sweet and Shimmer item. It is these nail stickers. Now, all of these Sweet and Shimmer items that you're going to see today, I actually picked up yesterday for me. So two days ago for you. Um, and they were on a sale. They're normally $2.99 each. And they were on a buy five for five sale. So a dollar each. So that's kind of why I picked these up because I was like, okay, I need another item. Um, yeah. So those will go in a stocking or something. I don't know, maybe before Christmas so that they can enjoy it during Christmas. Okay, which category should we do next? We only have two categories left. We have lips and we have eyeshadows, which if you watch my videos, you know those are my two weaknesses. Okay. Didn't I start this year saying I was going to try not to buy lip stuff. Let's start with eyeshadow. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so first, I actually finally got it. Okay, so Elf is my favorite Christmas movie. It is my favorite Christmas movie. It is hilarious. I love it. And can you believe I just saw a TikTok about this and about died it's celebrating its 20 years. 20 years since this came out. If my area's theater actually plays it, which some area theaters are playing it this year, I will be going because I would love to experience this in theaters. Okay, so I picked up the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It says, I'm a cotton head in Nidneen Muggins right there. And um, I actually have a cup that a friend made me a few years back that says, Either this line or it says, don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggin. Nitty, ninny muggins, yes. But I have wanted this one for a while. I found this at TJ Maxx again. Um, so definitely check out your TJ Maxx if you want to pick this up. I'm just going to quickly show you that's what it looks like. And I've not used this yet, so it still has the plastic part. It comes with a mirror. And then look at those colors. Oh guys, I really hope that that is showing up really well for you because that is stunning. It's beautiful. Yes, they are very small pans, but for 10 bucks, you get so many different shades and so many, <laughs> so many options you can do with this. And I do feel like this will be used all times of the year, not just Christmas. And that's, I think, kind of something I liked about this a lot was because these colors are representative of colors in the movie, but they're also colors that I could use all year round. Okay, next up, I placed an order with ColourPop and I picked up the Getting Fresh Mega Palette. Now, this was not in my plan to do at all, at all. But ColourPop scared me for a minute when they put it in their clearance because a lot of times when they put things in their clearance items, not sale, but actually in their clearance section, it's because they are discontinuing it. So I saw this palette pop in to the clearance section and if you've been here a while, I have said a couple times my goal is to own every single one of the mega palettes. So I kind of got scared and I went ahead and, and bought it when it was in the clearance section. And then a couple weeks later, it exited the clearance section and went back to full price. And so I was kind of annoyed because I would not have bought this right now. And you'll see why in a minute. Um, I would have waited to buy this. So I was slightly annoyed. 
Um, I haven't checked since then to see if they actually removed it, removed it or not. We'll see. But uh, the reason why I would not have picked it up right now is because of the color story. It's beautiful, but it's not something I was going to buy <laughs> right now because to me, this screams. Um, this just 100% screams like springtime, okay? There's not many shades in here besides those browns that I would really pull in for this time of year. I mean, I, I could, I can, but I just, I didn't want to buy this right now, but I felt like I had to. And so I wasn't, so I'm slightly annoyed by it, but I'm excited that I actually got another mega palette. So I am excited. I am happy with this purchase. I haven't used it yet. Um, and I don't imagine myself using it until springtime. Okay, I have two more palettes, guys. I told you, eyeshadows are a weakness for me, okay? You get me with these colors. The next two items, I think I mentioned in a video before that I had bought them, but I didn't actually show them to you. Uh, they are both from Juvia's Place. I finally picked up when Ulta had their Juvia's Place, I believe, at, I want to say it was 40% off, plus I had a order in the app, pick up in store for an additional 10% off. So basically 50% off. I went ahead and got these. So I got the culture one and the culture two. Now culture one is not currently in the package just because I want, because I was just using it. I use it on my face. I love this. Let me show you guys. I used three different shades here today. Um, I used a pink shade, I used an orange shade and I used a shimmery green shade. Let me open it up and show you what I used. So this is the beautiful, colorful palette. I used this pink right here. Then I used this orange right here. And then I used the sparkly green right here. So one, two, three. That's how I came with this look today and I will insert more pictures so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, so this is beautiful, such a fun palette. This is the original culture palette. I'm so excited I got it. I have used it a couple times, um, but I actually, unlike most of my palettes, I do store it in its box because I'm not laying my palettes flat right now. I'm storing them kind of like this. And I noticed when I was trying to store it like that, that um, this wasn't staying right. It was kind of uh, misshapening the package. So I am keeping it in its box just to protect it a little bit better. So then I have the Culture 2. Again, I say this anytime I mention Juvia's Place. Two things that I love about them is the artwork is always stunning, beautiful, on point. And then the pigments. The pigments are freaking amazing, okay? Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I have not dug into this one. I don't think, yeah, no, I've not dug into this one yet. Um, but look at how pretty, so many colors. If you don't like a larger palette, this wouldn't really be for you, but if you are somebody who's thinking maybe you want to try out a larger colorful palette, look at Juvia's Place. Just, just give them a shot, okay? Okay, guys, can I get a drum roll, please? Now, lips. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this year, I said, I don't want to buy any more lip products if I can help it. But I did also specifically say that it didn't include, at least I think I said this, that it didn't include chapsticks, lip like, um, lip care items and lip oils. And with the exception of one, I stuck to that. I really hope that's what I said. That's what I think I said. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so first, the one thing that I think definitely broke my rule 
I actually just bought yesterday, so it's not that bad. Um, it is from Essence. So again, not that bad. It's inexpensive. Uh, it is their eight hour matte comfort lip liner in the shade Silky Hazelnut. This right here. I am wearing this on my lips today. Um, and I will say it is a lot lighter on my lips than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I do enjoy it. It's a, just a lot more nude than I thought it was going to be. Okay. 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 Let's, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Okay. So first off, I picked up three, three, uh, from the Sweet and Shimmer Lip Oils because they were a dollar each. Two are for me. One is not. Uh, we've got this one in their purple lip oil. And then we've got this one in their uh, pink lip oil. It goes on 100% clear. I've not tried the purple. I've only tried the pink. It goes on 100% clear. Um, it doesn't really have much of a scent. Like there's a teensy bit of a scent, but it's like um like a basic lip oil scent, I guess. Um, this wand I cannot stand. It is the flattest, tiniest thing ever. I do not like the wand. The actual um, oil itself seems fine. It seems hydrating. It seems fun. It's not sticky. It's a very basic lip oil. It works fine. And getting it for a dollar. It's awesome. Getting it for the $2.99, I wouldn't because I hate that wand. I found that out when I opened it. So picked up those three. Then I picked up from Essence the Extreme Care Hydrating Glossy Lip Balm. Now this one's not an oil, so I guess maybe it doesn't count. So maybe I also broke the rule with this. But to be fair, I did think it was a lip oil and not a lip balm when I bought it. Um, oh wait, but chapsticks are, are balms, so maybe I didn't break the rule. Anyway, yes, I'm justifying over here. Let me be, okay? This is in Soft Peach. And the first time I applied it, my initial thoughts were not the biggest fan of that wand, but it works. It's a bit too pinky for my taste, but it felt good and it was very hydrating very hydrating and it felt great and it looked okay. I just, it was too peachy for me. But then I put it on a second time and it's like grainy. I don't know if that makes sense. Like it feels like there's little pieces of grain, like particles on it. Um, no, I didn't like that very much. And I tried it a couple more times and I was still feeling that. So then I was like, okay, let me just test something out. So I washed the wand. Made sure it was completely dry. Tried it again and it still has this like grainy feel to it that wasn't there the very first time I used it. Which is A, a reason why you should always try products multiple times before you give a full opinion of it because who knows how it's gonna change. Um, so I don't know if once it opened, something changed the formula. I don't know what, but because of that, I would personally not recommend this. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just something wrong with this particular one because it really felt good that first time. I loved it that first time with the exception of the color. Okay, then I have this that I just picked up yesterday. Milani. This is not a new product. The fruit, the fruit fetish um, lip oils, but this is a new shade that they released for fall. This is Blackberry Agave. Absolutely love this color. This one is amazing and it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today, which might be kind of going away a little bit. Let's see if I can reapply this in, in this viewfinder. This actually gives a lot more color than I was expecting it to. And it has that bigger doe foot, weird doe foot, but not too big. I have heard people say that this and a couple other products might be trying to be dupes for, is it the Dior lip oils? I'm not 100% sure. I don't have that lip oil. Um, 
I love the scent of this and the flavor of this. Um, <laughs> yes, there is a sweet flavor of this. When you smell it, this one particular is the blackberry and I would say it smells very much like blackberry, um, that kind of like sweet and sour-ish scent. It's, it's really nice and it looks so good. It's not sticky, it feels great. And it gives it, honestly, it gives the most color payoff that I've seen from a lip oil. Okay, then I have the NYX Fat Oils. Um, I have it in two shades. I have it in That's Chic and a News Feed. So that Chic is going to be kind of similar to this one where it's like supposed to be a purpley, a deeper purple. And I'll just show that to you real quick. Um, that does not give nearly the same color payoff as the Milani one, but it has that similar doe foot. Actually though, this one I feel like is bigger or it's more weirdly bent um, because I did not like this, ap this application versus I did like the Milani one. Um, the color payoff is not as great. The feel of it is okay. I feel like it does hydrate really well. And so I do keep this one in my purse to put on all the time when I'm out and about um, because I do like how hydrating it is and how my lips feel with it. But when you first put it in on, I didn't like it all that much. Um, and then the shade Newsfeed is this red one, which I have yet to open. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, then another lip oil. I told you guys, I'm crazy, okay? Elf also came out with lip oils. Who knew, who knew? Um, a Glow Reviver Lip Oil. The packaging is wonderful. It's taking me back to original Elf, um, original Elf days, but it looks really like they've stepped up the game in the packaging. Again, a really big doe foot applicator. I think these three brands are trying to copy uh, somebody. Um, the smell has a little bit of, I want to say pepperminty smell, but just the lightest, like maybe like a spearmint smell. Um, and then when it's on your lips, it does tingle just a little bit. I don't, but it doesn't, I don't remember it saying anywhere that it was plumping, just so it was glowy. Um, I like the color. It's not a huge color payoff. But it, it's there. Um, I don't know that there would be that much color difference in the different shades, but they did release, I want to say, five or six different shades. I don't think I will buy another shade unless I buy maybe an orangey one, but probably not because I think I have enough lip oils because guess what? I'm not done. I am not done. This year was the lip oil year, okay? In the makeup world, this year was apparently the lip oil year because most of these are new to this year. Okay, then we have the Essence Lip Oil. This one's actually the lip oil. Cranberry with Tinting Effect Lip Oil. And this is what it looks like. I just got this yesterday, so I have not had a chance to use it at all. Um, so I will have to give you my thoughts on that on another day. Then I have only two more, guys. Only two more, only two more, and then we are done with purchases. Okay, so, uh, with that ColourPop oil, uh, with that ColourPop order, I needed to make sure I didn't pay for shipping, so I also added in their Lux lip oil in just the shade Dewdrop, which I believe was just clear. Let's see, yeah, it is just clear. And again, I've not opened this or used this yet, so I'll have to get back to you. It does look a little cloudy, which is kind of strange to me. Um, and then that applicator is more flat. So we'll have to see. This one I don't think came out this year. I think this one was older. And then lastly, I went ahead and picked up the Juvia's Place uh, Magic Lip Oil in Sweet Orange. It says it's hydrating and nourishing. It is still in the package because it's not been opened or used yet. Look at that packaging though, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and uh, just open it up so we can, can see together what it looks like. Okay, now this one, I'm interested to see if it's actually gonna have any kind of color payoff. I don't think it's going to. I think it's gonna be a very 
very subtle, but that also looks like it has that larger doe foot applicator. Um, beautiful packaging. <laughs> Honestly, I picked the orange mostly for the packaging, but also because if there was a slight color tint, I wanted it to be more orange because I feel like I already have like more purples and reds and all of that. So I kind of wanted a slightly different option. So that is that. And that is the last of it, guys. Those were my purchases for September, October, and the first few days of November. No, it's not. Oh no, I forgot, I'm looking straight at it. Hold on, I also have a few more items. Two nail polishes, right here. Bought them for Halloween. This one I used, this one I forgot about. It's okay. Um, and then I have a hair care, four items, really quickly. Okay, they're all from Not Your Mother's. We have the dry shampoo, very strong scent, works great, but I don't like the scent. Uh, Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray, don't like the scent, works great. Beach Babe Texturing Sea Salt Spray, I didn't see a difference. And She's a Tease Hairspray, the scent was okay, it worked fine. Bought all of those for that Air Force Ball event because I didn't want full size products and I liked that I could get it all in the same brand. Okay, now we're done with purchases. <laughs> Okay, so this included an Air Force Ball event. This included my birthday. This included just randomness, okay, and sales. So, yeah. Is there anything that I mentioned here that you've been wanting or that you already have and you're so glad you have? Or maybe the opposite, something you already have here that you wish you didn't buy. Let me know in the comments below and let's quickly just talk about my planned purchases for the rest of this year. Okay, now we've seen so many brands come out with so many new beautiful collabs and palettes and launches. There's just so much on there. On there. Um, and there's going to continue to be more. I am not shopping the Sephora sale, mostly because I'm saving up for a very specific item or two or three, um, but also because we no longer have a Sephora near us. We used to have a Sephora in a JCPenney's in our town. When that contract ended, Sephora is now, I believe, three hours from me. So I'm not shopping this Sephora sale, especially because the website always gives me issues. And so I'm not, I'm not playing. I am not doing that. But Sephora sale is going on. So if there are brands that you like, Maybe check out that sale, see if it's worth it for now, or maybe just wait. Who knows? It's up to you. We've got Christmas, we got gifts to buy. But I do know for sure that I am buying at least one palette, if not two, from Nomad Cosmetics pretty soon here. I have the money set aside. I am waiting for them to go on sale, okay? I am hoping that they go on sale like they did in the previous years where they put their items from what I've seen on about 30% off for Black Friday. That's what I'm holding out for, okay? If it doesn't go on sale, I'm still buying it, but if it does go on sale, I can buy two palettes. So if it has a good 30% off or more sale, I will be buying that Ghost Towns palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, and then if it, and then there's another palette that I might get. I'm debating between two, so I don't really want to say just yet. Um, other than that, I'm honestly not sure if I will buy more makeup this year. That is the biggest load of bull ever. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> I, I know that I don't think I want to buy any in this very moment as I am looking at all of these purchases that I gathered and put all together. Um, but if I'm being honest, I'm sure I will. Okay. I just, I just am pretty sure I am going to, because guess what? It's just, I love makeup. It's my passion, but I try my best to buy it on sale. I try my best to buy it with points. I try my best to buy it smartly 
which is why when it's new, new things and I actually buy it new, it's a shock. Um, as far as lip products go, <laughs> there's one more lip product that I think I might buy this year. Uh, and then, and then I think I'm done with lips for this year. I think I need to just say, Emma, it's time to stop. But that is the newly announced e.l.f. lip liners for $2. $2. I think e.l.f. maybe saw my video of brands that I wasn't all that pleased with right now. Maybe other creators videos talking about how e.l.f. has just gotten too dang expensive for e.l.f. Um, and maybe, maybe that's why they're releasing a $2 lip liner. It actually looks really good. The colors look great. And we'll see which ones I pick up because I will most likely be picking one of those up. Maybe I'll pick it up and stick it in my stocking. That way it, it's a Christmas gift. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and feel free, please, to leave me a comment. I would love to hear what makeup purchases you have made, what purchases you decided against because maybe you already had stuff that was similar in your collection. I try not to showcase a lot of like holes and a lot of let's buy all the new stuff type of things because while buying makeup is fun and there's so many great things releasing. I'm also a firm believer in we really need to use the makeup we have. So shop your stash, see what you have, and then see if you need new makeup. All right. That's going to be it for this video because I have started to ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. I would be oh so grateful. Thank you so much for being here this long. You are amazing. Have a wonderful rest of your day, your weekend, whenever you're watching this. I will talk to you in a video very soon. Bye-bye.